Over the past 30 years, natural disasters, storms, floods and droughts have increased threefold, according to the UN's International Strategy for Disaster Reduction. When extreme weather strikes, the poor are usually hit hardest. Tropical storms, floods and droughts account for 75% of all disasters. Disaster relief agencies try to pick up the pieces, but increasingly, governments and UN agencies are going one step further, aiming to reduce damage before it strikes. Earth Report investigates how poor farmers in Honduras and fishing communities in Vietnam are working with disaster risk managers to strengthen nature's defences against the violent effects of climate change. Vietnam is one of the most natural disaster-prone countries in the world. Typhoons and violent storms are frequent, eight in 2006, with often calamitous consequences. The country's entire 3,000-kilometer coastline is low-lying and vulnerable. In the northern provinces, an extensive sea dike system has been in place for centuries. The dikes give some protection, but not against storms classified level eight or above. Waves over three and a half meters are simply too powerful. Between 1995 and 2004, natural disasters claimed almost 6,000 lives in Vietnam. Over 320,000 houses were destroyed costing the country's overstretched economy an estimated 2.5 billion US dollars. Relief agencies dealt with the aftermath. In 1994, Vietnam's Red Cross decided to try a new approach, preventing or at least reducing disaster before it happens. For today's young inhabitants in the Honduran capital of Tegucigalpa, there are no memories of the devastation left by Hurricane Mitch nearly a decade ago. As people continue with daily life, subtle remnants of the city's painful past remain etched on riverside homes.